Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to use a touch interest. A reason you would want to use touch interest is if you are wanting to fire a touch interest without teleporting to it. An example of this is something that you collect by walking into. This will most likely have a touch interest. If you want to be in the intro of my video, make sure you join the Discord and you have a chance to start the video. In this video, I'll teach you how to use a touch interest and what it does. Make sure to stick around to the very end because I'll be showing you how to fire a touch interest and how you can use this to your advantage. Alright, so this is how it works. It's fire touch interest and open and close brackets. Inside these brackets require three things to work. Number one is the part you want to touch with. Number two is the part in which you want to touch. And number three is if it's being toggled on or off. This would be a one or a zero. One means that you're not touching it and zero means that you're touching it. In the description will be all the resources that I have used in today's video. Before I show you how this works, make sure you have turned on click part to select in dark decks. First I'll show you a simple example of how this would be used, then I will show you a more advanced example. The first example will be in a speed game called Speedrun Simulator. This game makes it extremely easy as all of the orbs are just located in workspace and a folder. The first thing we need to do is identify the part that will touch. We can open dark decks or any other explorer that you want to use and find the part that you want to use. This will go into the instance part. That means step one. This part will be in the workspace near the bottom of the list. Usually now we can just copy the part, though if we do this now, it will be with our username. So it won't be ideal if we give the script to anyone. Instead what we'll do is we'll do game.players.localplayer.character and this will take you to the same location. Now you need to define the part that you're wanting to use. I will put humanoid root part. To do this you just need to put a full stop and add whatever you want to, to use. This means you can use head, humanoid root part or even left leg. Next we need to identify what part we are going to touch with the part we just identified. This is step 2, meaning the base part. For this game, it's extremely easy, as all you need to do is copy the path for orb, which is in orb spawns. To do this, we just need to go into the workspace and open orb spawns, then right click on orb and copy path. Remember, we are not copying path of the touch interest, but rather the path that is parented to the touch interest. Once you have copied the path, you can put that into your executor. That is pretty much it for the script. The last step is just to add a zero. The zero means that you are touching it, so it is toggled. We'll have a zero as once touched, it deletes itself. And if the orb did not delete itself, it may be a more complicated way to do it, which I'll explain later in the video. For now, we can just execute this and we'll get some points, as if we have stepped on the orbs. Now we want to make it into a loop, so we'll put a while wait loop at the start. To do that, make a new line at the top and the bottom of the script and type in on the top while wait to and at the bottom just put an end. You will see that you are now getting orbs slowly, though don't worry as now I'll show you how to make the orbs get collected way faster. To collect the orbs faster, you need to define the orbs. Once you have done this part, the orbs will be collected almost instantly. What we'll do is we'll put the script we just created to the side for a while. I will save mine on a notepad. Now you can type 4IV in pairs and put open and close brackets. This is usually used for advanced loops. Inside the brackets, you can put the path to the orb spawn which we got earlier. And directly after, you can put a colon and add get children. And then another open and close brackets. At this point, you can do print V on the next line and add an end on the line after that. If you execute this and open the console, you should see a bunch of stuff saying orb. That means that the first step is working. Now you can replace the print with the script we put on notepad or wherever you put it. Now you need to change the path to V and put the wait loops at the end. Now if you press the execute button, it will instantly collect all the orbs in the game. If you would like to make this even more OP, you can add a while well way to do at the beginning of the script and an end at the end. You'll now even be able to rebirth super quickly. You can now make a remote event for rebirthing, though I'll get to that just in a second. Alright, let me interrupt this video for just a second. If you're enjoying this video and want to learn how to script, I'm making a playlist for all these videos on this topic. 
make sure you check that out. So far I've created for you guys how to download kernel, how to use a remote spy, so make sure you watch that video so you can see how to make an auto rebirth system. Next I'll show you a more advanced script. So in this game you'll find that there are pop tarts that need to be collected and this can be done by simply walking into them. You can find them but in dark decks by clicking on it. You'll notice that the pop tarts are in a folder within workspace. Now if we wanted to do the same thing as the last script, it would print loader followed by all the pop tart names, which is not what we are wanting because we need the touch interest and that is located in the hitbox which is inside of pop tarts. First we need to deal with the loader. The loader is server sided meaning there should not be any harm in removing it. To do that you can copy the path to the loader and paste it into your executor. From here we just need to type at the end a colon followed by remove and two brackets. By doing that it will remove the script. Do not execute it yet, else later it will give you an error. Second we need to touch all the pop tarts. To do this we can again make a table with 4 IV in pairs and 2 brackets. Do. In the brackets you can copy the path to pop tarts. Once done you will need to press enter twice after the script and type end. On line 2 you can paste in the same fire touch interest as we made earlier. This time instead of touching v it will touch v.hitbox. Make sure you add the .hitbox after v. Essentially what that will do is it will make the character touch the actual thing instead of just the folder. Back in line 1 you need to add the get children and two colons after pop tarts and a wait 0.1 after do. This script should give you all the pop tarts in the game minus a few. If you'd like to get them all you can try that by yourself. If you need a hint the other pop tarts are in replicated storage. Also for that you would just use fire touch interest meaning no IV in pairs. Anyway guys if you did come to enjoy this video make sure to drop a like and maybe consider leaving a sub to my channel. Bye guys.